have you ever thought about this word where did this word fibonacci come from okay. it's considered to be god's number why stock has retraced by 50% price is tend to bounce back after retracing 61.8% this is considered to be the last line of defense this particular golden ratio is not allowing prices to go be beyond it Hello strikers welcome back to the channel this is Nimisha and in today's episode we will learn about a very interesting topic that is Fibonacci series Fibonacci series you might have heard about this term a lot of times in the stock market so today we have Mr Zubin with us and he will throw some light on the same so uh, Nimisha have you ever thought about this word where did this word Fibonacci come from I have no idea <laughs> okay so let me tell you Fibonacci is a name of a mathematician in very olden days so what he uh, did was okay he started off with uh, one number all right zero the first number right and he went on to the next number one hmm. now what he did was he added this number with the previous one so okay. one plus zero becomes one one again now one plus one becomes two 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 plus one becomes three three plus two becomes five five plus three becomes eight, eight. 8 plus 5 becomes 13. 13 and so on and so forth. So he went up to infinity. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So all the numbers in this series, okay, they are called as Fibonacci numbers. Okay. All right. Now, what is so special about these numbers? So if you take any two consecutive number, all right, mm -hmm. if you want, you can use your calculator as well. Viewers can also take the calculator. If you take any two numbers, you can say 8 divided by 13. Or you say 5 divided by 8. Huh? What is the next number? 13 plus 8? 21. If you take 13 divided by 21, all this will be equal to 0 0.618. Alright, now when you convert it into a percentage, you will get 61.8 percentage, right? Hmm. Now, this 61.8 percentage, this number, is considered to be a golden number. Okay. It's considered to be God's number. Why? Because if you look at, you know, our human body, all right, you calculate the distance from your head to your navel and navel to your toe and you calculate the difference, you will get 61.8%. Uh, okay. You calculate your uh, distance uh, from your shoulder to elbow and elbow to the tip of your finger, it will be a Fibonacci ratio. So, 61.8%. Uh, you count the number of petals in a sunflower, each and every. Take n number of sunflowers. Every sunflower will have the number of petal and that petal will be a Fibonacci number. All right. Okay. Not only that, if you take a beehive, calculate the ratios of, of male bees and female bees. That ratio will be a Fibonacci ratio. That is 61.8. Yes. So, it, it's evident in so many, you know, aspects of our life in the universe. So, we consider that as a golden number. Hmm. Now, in stock market, why can't we use this golden ratio in finding supports and resistance, right? So, what uh, generally the traders do or what we can do using this number is, let's suppose a particular stock has risen up by, you know, from 100, the stock has gone up to, let's say, 200 rupees. Hmm. All right, the stock has gone up. Now, when we say that stock price from 200 comes down, to around 150 all right so what do we say we say that stock has retraced by 50 percent 50 percent of what of the previous rally yeah from 100 to 200 so the prices went up by 100 points all right half of 100 points is 50 so from 200 you deduct 50 you get 150 so when prices comes down like this to 150 you know, we can say that, okay, prices have retraced by 50 percentage. Hmm. Okay, now 50 percent can be a round number. Yeah. Now, similarly, we can say that 61.8 percentage retracement. Hmm. So, if the prices comes down and it comes down to, let's say, 138.2 rupees. Hmm. So, this 138.2, it will be 61.8 percent retracement. Hmm. Now, it is said that and it is observed many a times in many stocks, even in indices, that prices tend to bounce back 
after retracing 61.8% of its previous rally. Mm -hmm. So this ratio, so 61.8 is considered to be a very strong area of support level. Okay. So Fibonacci numbers, Fibonacci retracements are used to find out support and resistance mm. levels. All right. So let me give you one example out here about 61.8% support. All right. Uh, let's say this is a chart over here, a uh, daily chart. And uh, okay, see, the prices have gone up over here crazy. Mm. Yeah, from around 46 rupees to around 100, 100. rupees, the prices have gone mm. up. All right, and now the prices have started coming down. So we want to find out from where can the prices come down, and take support back. and bounce back. Correct. All right, so what we can do is we can select this Fibonacci tool out here and then select the low from where the rally started. So you select the row, click, drag, 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 and you drag it up to the, the topmost point from where this rally ended. And when you release it, automatically you will get 50% retracement, 61.8% retracement and 74.6% retracement. Hmm. So 74.6 is also one kind of a Fibonacci, Fibonacci number. number. All right. Now over here, 50 being a round number, it acts like a good support level hmm. and 61.8 is a very strong support level. And later 76.4%, this is considered to be the last line of defense meaning okay. a very strong support okay there if if at all the prices breaks below now from here if the prices breaks below uh 74.6 percent then there is something wrong in this rally this rally is over okay all right so we will have to reassess our investments hmm. if one rally is you know corrected by more than 74.6 all right let's see how does the price behave from here so sharp down and from 50%, prices bounced back mm. sharply. All right. It went up nicely. Okay. Now look at this. It comes back to 50% support level over here. And remains there, remains there. And broken. And now once broken, prices comes to just around 61.8. Breaks for a day. And then immediately mm. with a gap up opening over here, it bounces back. Correct. And bounces back one more time. Look look at this. Mm. One more time. 61.8% support level. One more time 61.8. So, see, this particular uh, golden ratio is not allowing prices to go be beyond it. Right? And, yeah, one more time comes somewhere nearby. And then finally, the prices with volumes goes up. Mm. Alright. So, as, as a trader or as an investor, see, it's a daily chart. So as a trader, what we can do whenever price falls and makes any bullish patterns somewhere near Fibonacci, we, we have understood patterns, right? So if, if uh, any patterns are formed near the support level, so even at a 50% support level, there is this bullish engulfing pattern. So a trader can buy here, sell here. Correct. All right. Once it comes to around 61.8, there is a partial gap up opening over here. See the closing price on this day, on this candle is at 66.8. And the opening is 67.7. Mm -hmm. So it's a partial gap up opening over here. So with this gap up, a trader can buy and sell on this particular. What, what is this candle, by the way? We've learned uh, a shooting star. Shooting star. Right? Okay. Again, the prices comes, forms a hammer, goes up, forms a hammer, goes up. So mm -hmm. at every point of time, traders can buy, sell, buy, sell. And you, know, you can use this as a trading tool. Or investors can simply buy at every support levels support and level. hold on. Hmm. Right? Look at look at the rally. Look, look at the superb rally. Hmm. Oh yeah. Clear? You got you understood how yeah. to find out supports using uh, Fibonacci? Fibonacci? Now opposite of it, how to find resistance using Fibonacci? Alright, so in, in support level, what did we do? We we took the previous rally and found out support level. Now to find out resistance level, what what we should do is we have to take a downward Down movement. Mm. All right. And from here, when the prices starts retracing, so we will select this point and the higher point and the lower point and draw Fibonacci ratios. So 50% will come somewhere at around this midpoint. All right. Then comes over here 61.8%. Mm. So when prices comes to 61.8%, this is considered to be a very strong area of resistance. resistance. From here, there is a high probability that the prices could start falling, falling down. down from here. 
All right. Mm. Now, one more thing. If uh, if fifty percent, sixty one point eight percent is here, we can also get seventy six point four percent retracement. Mm. And as I said earlier, that seventy six point four percent is the last line of defense. Okay, while when the prices are coming down as a support level, mm. it is a li last line of defense for the bulls. Now, on the on this side as a resistance, this is considered to be last line of defense for the bears. bears. If bulls are able to break above this, then there could be a new rally that can start from there. All right. So let's let's take a uh, example and see on charts how to find out resistance. So in this uh, example over here, uh, we have a downtrend. Yeah, we have yeah. a top over here and we have a bottom over here. Mm. And prices have lately it has started moving up. If if at all prices starts going up over here, where can we find resistance? That's the question. So we will take this Fibonacci tool once again. We will select the high. Mm. Yes, absolutely. Come down, come down and select this low and leave it. So you got 50% uh, resistance over here, 61.8% over here and 76.4% over here. All right. So it is expected now. So if at all prices starts going up from here. All right. If, if prices starts going up here, first thing you will get a double bottom confirmation. But this double bottom, so any trader who buys over here, he can sell so, partially yeah. over here. Mm -hmm. Okay, he can set target 1 here, he can set target 2 over here and he can set a target 3 over here. Hmm. So double bottom as we had discussed in our earlier videos that it is a trend reversal pattern. So if this happens, this entire trend will have reversed to an uptrend. But over there, where to put targets? So you can sell partially at all these Fibonacci, Fibonacci levels. Number. Yeah, okay. All right. Hmm. So that was about Fibonacci, a wonderful uh, tool. Uh, God's number yeah and uh, in many examples uh, we can see out here it works beautifully so traders must watch out and learn Fibonacci okay so today we learned about the God's number 61.8 percent that is the Fibonacci series and the Fibonacci number and it really helps as far as I've understood it really helps to plot the targets and understand the chart more nicely so we will carry on with more understanding of the same if you have any doubts look you can just comment down in the comment section we would try to solve them and till then share and subscribe to strike <laughs>